G'day YouTubers. Uh, finally, we've got the uh, the taste test of the uh, Panhead Supercharger clone that I did in tribute of Paul Wicksteed. Here is mine, and we'll just pour we'll just pour the authentic up the authentic and see what that's like. We'll compare the two side by side. Mine's slightly different because I couldn't get Amarillo and I uh, I used Cascade and the yeast I used was US05. And mine's slightly chill hazed. It's not really as clear as this one. We'll just put that there. So, let's see if we can't get a bit of the chill haze. I mean, obviously, this is a lot clearer. But you can see the colours very similar, as you would expect, considering I use the same grain bill. <coughs> and let's start by giving them both a nose. Mmm. It's very cold at the moment. I'm going to try this. It's exactly the same nose, except the original's a little stronger. Could be down to the Amarillo. I'm quite surprised, actually. I mean, there's lots of citrus, there's lots of floral notes. Yeah, I've actually, I've actually, considering I use different hops, I've actually got fairly bloody close. Oh, yeah, this has got more of a, um, I don't know, a sort of like almost piney resiny sort of a characteristic to it anyway i'm going to dive in to this first the original got the upside down snowstorm going on in there and yeah it could be my glass the the glass that i'm using two different glasses so it's possible that well, it's quite likely that the glass is going to give some sort of different um, notes. You know, just the shape of the glass and what have you. Mm. Yeah, it's sort of resiny. Um, I'm no beer reviewer, but uh, I just wanted to do this just to just to sort of see how close I got to the original. And I'm actually going to be brewing this again because I actually got some Amarillo. If you've seen my last video, you'll know that I got some Amarillo. And uh, anyway, here we go. We'll give this a kick in the pants. It's got some of that resiny sort of characteristic to it. That's the only way I can explain it is resiny. Um, but yeah, but I have to say, I prefer the original actually, even though I made this one. 
um, it's just not quite there. It's, it's not a bad first effort, considering, and I messed up on my hop, uh, my hop additions. I, for some reason, put 24 grams uh, and 12 grams, where I should have put 20 grams and 30 grams. So I blowed if I know. But anyway, it's not a bad effort. It's got some of that dank sort of. It's it's similar, but a lot less in the hop department. The malt the malt backbone is much the same because I got that right. But the the hops stand out a lot more in this one, as you'd expect. I'm, I was six grams off. Uh, in the boil and in the work, 10 minute boil, the whirlpool <clears throat> and the dry hopping I was off but I've adjusted everything and I've got it spot on to do my next one. <clears throat> I've got to say I'm not surprised that Paul Wicksteed really loved this beer and wanted to clone it because it is a fantastic beer. It is one of the, I'd have to say, it's probably my favourite store-bought craft beer. Another favourite of mine is the uh, um, the Hop Rocker by Max. The Hop Rocker, I like the original Hop Rocker, and then I, I believe, just going by the taste and aroma, that they sort of cut back a bit on the hops because it sort of didn't have that same punch that it used to have when they relabeled the bottles. But anyway, this, I've got to say, if I was to mark myself out of 10, uh, 10 being a perfect match, Zero being completely another dimension, uh, I would give myself about a, a six, six out of ten on effort and uh, result, about a six out of ten. It's, there's nothing wrong with it, and if I'd never tasted the actual original, I would have thought, yeah, that's it's a bloody nice beer, that's a really nice beer. And I honestly believe that my next batch, I've already got my grains, my hops, my yeast, I've got everything I need to brew this uh, uh, supercharger correctly this time. And I believe there is no reason, well, if it tastes different, the only thing it can be is I didn't use White Labs yeast. I used a US05, which is a substitute for, I think it's WLP001, I think was the yeast used from the actual brewery. But like my brew store guy said to me, um, it's quite possible that Panhead, when they were first putting this together, and trial and erroring it, they may have even used USO5 and then stepped it up to, to the to the liquid yeast. So here's here's to Paul Wickseed and uh, we, I hope that everyone's gonna follow um, the the train of thought that all us brewers you brew tubers have got which is to at least make an annual, you know, uh, on the anniversary of Paul's passing, uh, to brew the, you know, the Panhead Supercharger, or I forget the name of the other one that he, he uh, 
was really enjoying and um, that we did on our International Brew Day. And uh, <clears throat> oh, I'm, I'm loving. It's kind of, it's almost like burnt toffee. Is the after the 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 flavor that I'm getting it's almost like burnt toffee and I'm getting a little bit in my one but not as much and uh, full respect to cus uh, Panhead Custom Ales they've really stumbled up uh, well not stumbled upon but they have created an amazing beer Yeah, like I said, mine's got the same characteristics as this, but just less of it. It could be solely down to, I, I believe it's down to a potential three things. The yeast is not exactly the same. The amount of hops I used was slightly less than it was than was uh, in the recipe and that was my mistake and thirdly I used Cascade instead of Amarillo because I could not get ca uh, Amarillo and uh, my brewing software showed a substitute for Amarillo was either Cascade or Centennial. Well, we already had Centennial in there, so I decided to use Cascade. And I, I was a little disappointed at the time that I couldn't get Amarillo because, like, I've, I've never had that before where a, a recipe's called for a particular hop and I ha haven't been able to get it because generally I design recipes around the ingredients I can get. I don't... I don't design a recipe, I've never cloned anything before. So my recipes are pretty much what's available to me. Okay, this hop, that yeast, this grain, that grain, put it all together, come up with something decent. And I've had success with that so far. So anyway, Cheers, and I uh, hope you uh, hope you guys all put out your videos on uh, on uh, this this brew. It's got plenty of carbonation. It's been on ten psi for about just on three weeks. It's been on ten psi, and it's not fully cleared out yet. But this is just the the second pull on the keg. I, I pulled one glass and put it to one side and pulled this second glass and uh, hoping it would be a little clearer but I mean probably tomorrow the next day it'll be much clearer but clarity's you know is not everything. It's nice but it's not everything. Okay cheers guys. Drink good beers.